Hi champions, we're so glad that you and your family were able to join us today. Are you ready to do the declaration? All right, repeat this after me. I am special and extraordinary. I am not average. I have been custom made. I am one of a kind. Of all the things God created, what he is most proud of is me. I am his masterpiece, his most prized possession. I will keep my head held high, knowing that I am a child of the Most High God, made in his very image. This is my declaration. Hi champions, welcome to this week's lesson where we're gonna talk about increasing my faith to overcome fear. Do you know that sometimes we may have to do things that frighten us? In order to do what God wants us to do, we must have faith in God. You know that faith is like a muscle. The more we use it, the more powerful it becomes. Let's look at the equation and say it with me. I am afraid to do what God wants me to do. Plus, I have faith that God is with me always equals God will help me do what he wants me to do. Great job. I have this jar that I have been trying to open. I'm having a real hard time trying to open this jar. I think I need to build my muscles in my hand in order to open this jar. What do you think? One way to build hand muscles is to squeeze this ball. I'm going to squeeze it over and over so that my hand muscles can get stronger. Okay, I'm going to try to open the jar now. Wow, it's really hard. I think I need to exercise my muscles some more. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to go to try to open the jar once again. Here we go. Ah, oh, I did it. Exercising my hand muscles worked. You know, Building our faith in God to help us do the things He wants us to do is like building a muscle. The more you trust God, the stronger your faith in Him will be. Trusting God is like doing spiritual exercise. The stronger your faith in God is, the less you will fear and the fewer times you will be discouraged. Repeat this after me. God, I trust you today. I know you love me and will take care of me. I know you will protect me always. Help me do what you want me to do. Help me build my faith muscle. Great job, champions. Okay, now let's get ready for our Bible declaration. Hi, champions. Now it's time for our Bible confession. Say it after me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same. I'm about to receive the incorruptible, indestructible, ever-living seed of the Word of God. I will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome job. Now let's watch this week's lesson. In the Old Testament, God picked out a great place for His people to live. But, long story short, they ended up in Egypt for 400 years instead. God led His people back to this land He promised to give them. But there was a problem. Other people moved in while God's people were gone. God picked a man named Joshua to be the leader of Israel. He had watched Moses lead God's people for years, so he learned to go when God said go and stay when God said stay. Joshua got really good at obeying God in the little things and in the big things by obeying his leader Moses. God gave Joshua very specific directions on how to defeat the people who were living in God's promised land. It wasn't a normal kind of battle plan at all, but Joshua trusted God so much that he was ready to obey no matter what God asked. The first enemy city they came to was Jericho. 
Jericho had a big tall wall that protected the city. God told Joshua to line up all of God's people, the Israelites, and march around the city once a day for six days. Then on the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times. No fighting, no yelling, just marching. So Joshua did just what God said. He led all of the people to line up and obey God too. Even though this plan sounded crazy, and even though the walls of the city were big and tall, Joshua obeyed what God told him to do. On the first day, they marched around the city's big tall wall. No fighting, no yelling, just marching. On the second day, they marched around the city's big tall wall. No fighting, no yelling, just marching. On the third day, they marched around the city's big tall wall. No fighting, no yelling, just marching. You get the picture, right? Same thing on the fourth day, and the fifth day, and the sixth day. It seemed like nothing was happening. Jericho's big tall wall was still big and tall. On the seventh day, God told Joshua to march around the city seven times. This time, they blew their trumpets and yelled. And guess what? They saw that big tall wall fall. It was a miracle. Because of Joshua's great obedience, the people of Israel obeyed God's instructions too, and God destroyed the big tall wall of Jericho. Joshua continued to obey God in the little things and in the big things. He trusted God no matter what. He led God's people into the promised land, and God made Joshua into a mighty leader. You can read about him in his very own book of the Bible, Joshua. Hi champions, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the Bible story. Now it's time for a vocabulary and scripture verse worksheet. We're going to learn four new words today to help us understand the Bible story better. Ready? Our first word today is discouraged. And that means when you give up on something and you decide not to try. Our second word is fear. And that's when you feel something bad is going to happen and it's going to be painful or dangerous. Like in our Bible story, when Joshua was afraid to take over Jericho because it was a city that had a big wall surrounding it. Our next word is faith. And that is believing in something that you cannot see. Like believing in God and that He is taking care of you. And our last word is strong. And that means standing tall with your head up, knowing that God loves you, like Joshua did. Even though he was afraid, he had faith in God, he did what God asked him to do, and good things happen. Now, I wanna to talk to you about our faith workout schedule. This schedule will remind you to do activities that will increase your faith, like waking up and thanking God for what he's going to do today, reading your scripture card, doing your schoolwork, listening to worship songs, watching a good TV show, and saying your bedtime prayers. I want you to do these every day and check them off each time you do it, and this will increase your faith muscle. Great job, champions. Now, let's get ready for our next activity. Here we go. Hi, champions, and welcome to Learning Time. I'm here with my son, Connor. Hi, Connor, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Well, good, so good to see you and have you with me. Well, today during learning time, Connor is going to show you what's called snap circuits. It's kind of like putting things together and then something happens. So what's the first snap circuit we're gonna to do today, Connor? Lamp and fan. You're gonna make a lamp and fan. All right, are you ready out there? Are you ready, Connor? Yes, sir. Okay, go. Okay, so you're putting some, you're snapping some things together. I think that's the holder for the fan. Good job. All right, we've got some more circuits going on there. That's the fan that you put on top. Very good, Connor. Great job. All right, I think we're getting ready for the light portion. So Connor's working on that. Fantastic. Oh. Man, he's a lot smarter than I am, I'll tell you that. That must be the light switch that you're putting together. Good job. You got it? You ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. 
There it is. Great job, Connor. That's so good. All right, are you ready to do the next one? Okay, here we go. Let's try, let's do the space war alarm combo. What do you say? Does that sound good? Yes, sir. All right, so we're gonna get this one all broken down. Now, if you kids are out there, you can actually get these snap circuits. You can actually order them and work on them. And it's a lot of fun. And you know what? It helps you use your mind because that's what we're trying to do right now with the Learning Center. And we want you to use your mind. We want you to learn new things. And that's what you're learning right now with Connor. So this one is the Space War Alarm. And it looks like Connor's starting to put that together. He's working on the different things. I think that's the alarm right there. Good job, Connor. Way to go. Okay. He's got to get some more things over here. There we go. And see, all these snap circuits, they're numbered. Right, Connor? Yes, sir. Yeah. And so Connor is trying to look for the next circuit he needs to put together. Now, is this going to make a big sound? Is it going to make a big alarm? Connor? Yes. Will it make it? Yeah, it will. Okay. So it's going to make a big alarm. So you might want to put your fingers in here when we're ready here. Do you have it? Okay, on the count? Oh, no, we don't have it yet. All right. You're still working on it. Connor's got to get it stabilized. Oh, there you go. Great job. Oh, you're getting the right pieces together. That's so good. I have no idea how he knows all these things. It's amazing. Keep going. Great. This one is much more complicated. He's got to do a lot more things on this one. Wow. I didn't know it was that complicated to make a space war alarm. Connor's very focused on what he's doing right now. Don't tell me kids with autism can't do things. Look at this kid. You're so smart. Are you smart? <laughs> okay. I think we're almost there. He's almost got it. amazing. <laughs> Great job. All right. Fantastic. I'm so proud of you, Connor. Great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, champions. Today we learned that in order to build our faith, we need to exercise it just like we would our physical muscles. The stronger faith muscles, the easier it is to believe that God will protect us when we are afraid. We can exercise our faith muscles by doing activities like not allowing negative thoughts in our minds and like making the decision to choose faith in God over fear. Today's memory verse can be found in Joshua 1, 9, and it says, Have I not commanded you? 
Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Why don't you say it with me one more time? Let's do it together. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. Great job, champions. Okay, champions, would you like to pray the salvation prayer with me? Okay, repeat this after me. Dear Jesus, I love you so much. I pray that you come into my heart. Forgive me of all of my sins. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, champions, repeat this after me. I am equipped. I am amazing. I am well able. I am a masterpiece. I am brilliant. I am wise. Great job, champions. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.